welcome students to our raid online school education that is ros project of 2021-22 myself tilakar sm from sadguru gadge maharaj college karat my subject is english students today we are going to see the second part of the poem 2.2 that is the sova which is written by victor hugo first question from that write an appreciation of the poem considering the following points points are first point about the poem poet oblique title next point theme next poetic devices language style next point special features oblique novelties oblique focusing elements next values or a message and last your opinion about the poem the, let us see the answer first point about the poem poet and title see the answer the sova is a poem about the hard work and persistence of a sova who works tirelessly and relentlessly while the poet observes his actions and terms him as an august personality who works not for himself but for others originally written by victor hugo in french this poem has been translated into english by the bengali poet torulata datta who was the first indian poetess to write verses in english and french the title of the poem represents the central character of the poem that is the sower next point theme the central idea of the poem moves around the act of sowing seeds by the sower while the poet observes him and begins to respect him for his noble actions next point poetic devices language and style used in the poem the poetic devices used in the poem are alliteration antithesis hyperbole inversion personification repetition and synecdoche an example of personification from the poem is twilight hastens on to rule where twilight has been given the animate quality of hastening the language used by the poet is slightly complex because it has been written in a way that it maintains the rhyme scheme of ab ab it has a steady rhythm and a consistent meter meaning that there is consistency in the number of syllables used in the line the poem sorry the poet follows the narrative style of writing where he gives a first person account of observing the sower working hard in the field special features novelties and focusing elements that is the next point see how to develop this point the special features used in the poem are imagery and symbolism the poem is full of descriptive imagery as each line either describes the scene or an action of the sower or the poet the dominance of the sower over the deep furrows is a symbolic of the dominance of man over nature the precious grain is so called because each grain holds importance for the sower he shall sow these grain carefully and hope for a good harvest the novelties in this poem are the exact translation of lines from french by toru datta that means toru lata datta she chose to provide a true account of the observations as written by victor hugo instead of trying to refine the lines that sound inelegant when translated her retention of the optimistic tone of the poem makes the poem refreshing and appealing the focusing elements in the poem are dedication and commitment of the sower his perseverance and the poet's acknowledgement of the sower's action as being selfless and noble next point values and message of the poem the values that one can learn from the poem 
are determination, perseverance and selflessness. The message given by the poet through this poem is that one should keep working with a positive in life because one shall eventually reap the benefits of one's hard work. Last point, your opinion about the poem. The sower's commitment towards his work and the poet's admiration of the sower give the poem a positive and encouraging tone and makes it fine to read. Students, this is the appreciation of the poem. We can develop appreciation of any poem by using these points. Okay. Now, next, the poetic devices which are used in this poem. The poet has used a number of poetic devices. First poetic device is alliteration. What is alliteration? Alliteration means in this figure of speech, the same sound or syllable is repeated pleasingly. Sunlight, I see dying fast is one example from uh, this poem. See, how to write the explanation of this? The sound of the letter S is repeated for poetic effect. Next example, working hours have well nigh passed. The sound of the letter W and H is repeated for poetic effect. Next example, but a sower lingers still. The sound of the letter S is repeated for poetic effect. Black and high is a silhouette. The sound of the letter H is repeated for poetic effect in this line. The next example dominates the D for furrows. Sorry, dominates the furrows deep. The sound of the letter D is repeated for poetic effect. Next example of alliteration. Now to sow the task is set. The sound of the letter S and T is repeated for poetic effect. Soon shall come a time to rip. The sound of the letter S and T is repeated for poetic effect. Next example. From his hands, the precious grain. The sound of the letter H is repeated for poetic effect. Next example of alliteration. Muse I, as I see him stride, the sound of the letter S is repeated for poetic effect. Next example. Darkness deepens. In this line, the sound of the letter D is repeated for poetic effect. Next line, are august and strange his height. The sound of the letter A and H is repeated for poetic effect. Next line, seem to touch the starry skies. The sound of the letter S and T is repeated for poetic effect. So, students, these are the examples of alliteration from the poem. Now, let us see the next poetic device that is inversion. Inversion means when words are not given in a proper word order, it is called inversion. Now, see examples of inversion. First example, sitting in a porch way cool. The words are not given in a correct word order. The correct word order is sitting in a porch way. Next example, sunlight, I see dying fast. The words are not given in a correct word order. The correct word order is, I see sunlight dying fast. Next example, but a sower lingers still. The words are not given in a correct word order. The correct word order is, but a sower still lingers. Next example of inversion, old in rags, he stand, he patient stands. The words are not given in a correct word order. The correct word order is old in rags, he stands patient in bracket ly patiently. Next example of inversion, dominates the furrows deep. The words in this line also not given in a correct word order. The correct word order is dominates the the deep roads. Next example. Now, to sow the task is a set. The words are not given in a correct word order. The correct word order is now the task to sow is set. 
नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इन्वर्जन इज सुन शाल कम अ टाइम टू रिप द वर्ड आर नॉट गिवन इन अ करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर द करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर इज अ टाइम टू रिप शाल कम सोन नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इन्वर्जन इज मार्चेस ही अलॉन्ग द प्लेन द वर्ड आर नॉट गिवन इन अ करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर द करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर इज ही मार्चेस अलॉन्ग द प्लेन नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम हिज हैंड द प्रेशियस ग्रेन द वर्ड आर नॉट गिवन इन अ करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर द करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर इज द प्रेशियस ग्रेन फ्रॉम हिज हैंड नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल म्यूज आय एज आय सी हिम स्ट्राइड द वर्ड आर नॉट गिवन इन अ करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर द करेक्ट वर्ड ऑर्डर इज आय म्यूज एज आय सी हिम स्ट्राइड नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल फेड्स द लाइट The words are not given in a correct word order. The correct word order is the light fades. Next example. Now his gestures to mine eyes. In this line, the words are not given in a correct word order. The correct word order is now to mine eyes his gestures. Now next poetic device is antithesis. Now let us see what is antithesis. In this figure of speech. two opposite ideas are put together to make the statement emphatic now let us see the example to and fro and scattered wide here in this line two opposite words to and fro have been used in the same line to indicate the movement of the sower next example darkness deepens fades the light two opposite words darkness and light as well as two opposite ideas deepens and fades have been used now next poetic device is personification see what is personification in this figure of speech human qualities and feelings are attributed to an animate or inanimate things see the example twilight has sons on to rule here twilight has been given the animate quality of hastening next example of personification is shadows run across the lands here shadows have given the animate quality of running next poetic device is repetition see what is repetition in this figure of speech some words are repeated for the sake of emphasis example of repetition is muse i as i see him stride how to explain this line let us see the word i has been repeated now next poetic device from this poem is hyperbole see what is hyperbole hyperbole means in this figure of speech a statement is made emphatic by a over statement something is exaggerated or over stated in this figure of speech let us see the example of hyperbole seems to touch the starry skies see how to explain this line it is an exaggeration of the sower's greatness the poet credits the sower as being tall enough to touch the starry skies now let us see the next poetic device that is a cynic jockey what is cynic jockey cynic jockey means when a part is used to designate the whole or the whole to designate a part the abstract for a concrete or concrete for abstract is called cynic jockey let us see the example now his gestures to mine eyes the poets how to explain this line let us see the poet's eyes that is the body part represents the poet as a whole person students these are the some of the poetic devices from the poem we have seen all these poetic devices thank you